voices. My name is Jason Newland. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. My website is jasonnewland.com. My shoe size is 10. I have short hair, big ears, and I'm about 5 foot 8. Sometimes I fart in public. That's enough, I think, about me. Let's do the recording. So I'd like you to get yourself comfortable. There's a few ways you can do this. If you're at home and there's no one else around and it's warm enough, you could pretty much take off your clothes or put your pajamas on or whatever you sleep in. If you're wearing tight clothes, I would suggest you either remove them or put on something that's very loose. It gives your body the opportunity to naturally relax. Because I don't think that our bodies So even if you're really pleased with your body and you like to wear tight tops, probably or maybe useful to change that top for something very loose while you're doing relaxation. Are you allowing yourself to relax? Taking your shoes off is something that's, well, I don't know about you, but when I take my shoes off after having been out for a few hours walking around, it feels lovely. Especially if I've got laced up shoes. Just that release of tension it is so nice. If you wear a belt, then sometimes, as I have in the past, I've worn a belt and it's fine when I'm standing up, but when I sit down, it might put a bit of pressure. I'll just bang the desk then. It might put a bit of pressure on my stomach, on my abdomen area. Apart from cutting the blood flow off, it just feels uncomfortable. And when you're in the safety of your own home, undisturbed, relaxation process is to allow yourself to just be free without any restrictions or constrictions. So if you're wearing socks, maybe take them off or get someone to help you. I struggle with my socks because I'm so fat. I haven't actually seen my feet in about 10 years. I assume they're still there. Take your gloves off if you're wearing gloves. I would have assumed that you'd take your gloves off before listening to a relaxation session, but just in case, allow your skin to breathe. Another thing, if you're wearing glasses,
glasses. Maybe take your glasses off. And even though I wear glasses myself, they're not heavy. It still gives your face a rest. And because you'll have your eyes closed anyway, see anything. And if for any reason you need to open your eyes and do something, just have your glasses next to you. The same is with maybe contact lenses. If you normally take them out when you sleep, then perhaps consider taking them out while you do this, listening to me, because there's a chance that as well as relaxing the muscles in your body, as well as Reducing your focus on other things. Focusing on my voice. As well as noticing your breathing. Naturally slows down on its own becomes maybe clearer and deeper and easier without any effort and your mind also slows down because you don't of this recording. You don't need to do anything. And you've given yourself permission by pressing the play button on this podcast. You've given yourself permission Totally relax all the muscles in your body. And when your body relaxes, your mind follows and also relaxes. causes your mind to let go even further, let go of everything. a nice sensation that comes from just being in this moment. Because if you need to relax, that's what will happen. you're in this space, if you need to fall 
asleep. That too will occur naturally because you're in this safe, calm, peaceful space. Nothing Just here, listening to my words. Maybe you can hear some background sounds. There's some birds in the garden saying hello. They're saying relax. Let go. Nothing to do, nothing to say, just noticing how comfortable you're feeling in second it's almost like every word I say is a number counting down counting down and each number sends you are just words. The effect of drifting. Your mind drifting. Moving further. sense of complete serenity. like the world is 
just 